As we approach the halfway point in the skill guide series, let's move into the class that sadly and unjustly receives the least love, and that is the Barbarian, a class often attributed with tankiness, survivability, and, well, being forgotten for pretty much everything else. The sad reality is, the Barbarian does not really encompass these traits as much as you think, since outside of raw life and resist, the Barbarian lacks a lot in terms of durability, and on the flip side, he is still easily one of the best single target farming characters in the entire game. So today, let's dive into his arsenal of tools for killing that will eventually lead us to the full precision tool that is the Barbarian. First up, let's look at the truly unique aspects of the Barbarian, the dual wielding skills, with Double Swing, Double Throw, and Frenzy being the main active skills with this, with the Masteries we'll cover in another episode being the butter to this bread. Starting with the most changed skill on the list, we have Double Throw, though most of the change we see here is in the Mastery. The skill itself actually got a fairly decent damage bump with 2.4, which does help out its offensive nature quite nicely. This combined with the new ammo effects we mentioned from the Mastery takes us from a more meme build that requires specific equipment to a build that is actually endgame viable in many situations and is powerful enough to justify making for personal enjoyment. The way the double throw functions is pretty straightforward. It quickly alternates the throws on each hand at a much faster rate than normally throwing because it functions on a similar system to double swing. And while the mana cost is minimal, one mana per throw, so two mana per use of this skill, the ammo cost was always the big limiting factor to it. So with 2.4, you're able to not only do decent damage, but not have to worry about becoming the machine gun barbarian of your dreams. The one little thing to remember while using this though is that while throwing knives and axes are faster, they are shorter range than javelins, so that may impact your choice of weaponry, but I find the range to be a minimal issue personally. As far as how masteries affect the damage of these items, we'll be covering that in the mastery video coming very soon. Now, as we move to the skills that have had much more appreciation in previous versions, we start with Double Swing, which, as you guessed, operates pretty similar to Double Throw, but instead of focusing on one target, Double Swing will attempt to swing once at two different targets, only focusing on a single target if there's only one available. Double Swing also has the perk that it has a decreasing cost per level, becoming free to use at level 9, so there's no reason to avoid keeping it on swap. This is especially true since Double Swing has a slightly different animation timing than its big brother Frenzy, allowing it to often reach faster attack speeds with normal gear. Though obviously it still gets a boost from the Frenzy speed up effect, so the general practice for normal enemies is to charge up your Frenzy, then use double swing to deal faster attacks for a few attacks, then quickly swap back to Frenzy to keep the charge up, operating pretty similar to the Druid's Feral Rage and Maul attacks, where you're keeping that charge running to augment your main attack. Speaking of Frenzy though, it does have some fairly unique traits, such as the synergy with Berserk providing a conversion of physical damage to magical damage, up to 20% with 20 points in Berserk allowing you to do 80% physical, 20% magical, which makes it a really straightforward use on physical immunes mixed with normal enemies to keep that leech up. And this conversion, much like Magic Arrow and such, happens after enhanced damage and criticals are calculated, but before resistances are checked. Frenzy also has a nice perk of being less likely to be interrupted than other attacks since it functions similar to Zeal in its interruption rules. The last nice perk of it is that Frenzy effect, shown by the swirling around your character, provides the attack and movement speed bonuses to all attacks while it's going. Though it is worth remembering, it is a charge up skill just like the druid counterparts we mentioned, so at level 20 it takes 20 hits to reach the maximum charge, and then just one every now and then to maintain it. Beyond that, Frenzy operates pretty similarly to Double Swing, just a bit slower, with it trying to strike two targets if possible and costing mana cost per attack, not per use of the skill. That said, as far as raw DPS, you will want to look at calculators to see which one you want to use out of the two, due to Frenzy's enhanced damage effect and Double Swing's naturally faster attack, though most people will end up using both at some point in the run with dual wielding barbarians. So, do you enjoy the dual wielding barbarians, or are you more of a sword and board, or even a two handed bruiser? Mention it down below, and as always, keep gaming, have fun, and peace out. This has been Alzrath. Bye.